Let's ultrasound. On today's topic, ultrasound nobology gallery. Let's talk about the depth control. Yeah. On an ultrasound machine, the depth control adjusts how deeply the sound waves penetrate down into the tissues. When the depth is increased, meaning there's deeper depth, the field of view, which is the shape and the size of the ultrasound image, narrows in size and structures are going to appear further away on the ultrasound image and often are crammed into the near field of the image. When the depth level is decreased, meaning there's a shallower depth, the field of view widens in size and structures appear closer. The depth should be adjusted so that the area of interest is the star of the show and the posterior border of the area of interest is clearly visualized and not cut off on the bottom of the image. Ideally, the area of interest should be located in the mid to the far field of the image and the posterior border of the area of interest should be easily visualized. So how do you optimize the depth on an ultrasound image? Here's three scenarios using the liver as a guide. In the first image to the far left, the depth is too deep. The liver is small in the image and far away and crammed up into the near field of the image. And the far field of the image contains no information. This is empty or dead space. And when you can help it, you never wanna have empty or dead space on your ultrasound image. In the middle image, there's insufficient depth. The bottom part of the liver is cut off. It's outside of the image. The diaphragm of the liver at the posterior margin of the liver is not visible. And this means that pathology at the posterior edge of the liver can be missed. The last image to the far right displays the optimal depth. The liver fits into and also fills the field of view. The diaphragm is clearly visible along the posterior margin of the liver and there's information in the far field, meaning there's no empty or dead space. But because that liver fills up that entire image, this space contains information or contains the area of interest within it. And that is what we're striving for on an ultrasound image. Interested in more videos on ultrasound knobology? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in for our next videos on Wednesdays.